Hi, welcome to educators.com. I'm Shravanti, your Hadoop instructor. In this module, we are going to discuss about the storage formats in Hive, sequential file, RC file format, ORC file format, Avro and Packet. Storage formats in Hive. Usually when you create a table with the help of the create table statement, we'll be specifying create table table name and the column name and then we'll be using a row format delimited. That means what exactly that row format delimited is nothing but we call that as a default serdy. That means a serializer and deserializer. So what exactly the purpose of these things are nothing but Suppose if you are creating, if you are inserting any of the data or else if you are using a CTA statement like to create a table as or to insert statements, what it does is it uses the SERDI. That means it will serialize whatever the high internal representation of the row of the data is there. First of all, that data has to pass over the network. If you wanted to pass over the network, that row of data has to be converted into the bytes. So this process of converting the row of data into the bytes, uh, we call that as a serialization. And the deserialization means, all right, especially if you are uh, querying any of the table by using a select statement or anything, but then deserializer will be used. So this deserializer will be taking a row of the data from the bytes, then it will convert into the objects. This process we call that as a deserialization. For this purpose, we will be having the row format delimited and that is the by and also whether you can use the stored as a text file or not by default, it takes that as a text file and also it will be take one row per line. That is a default format. Apart from that, you can even specify or store as a, instead of a text file, we do have a different file formats as well. So if you see these uh, different file formats over here, we do have a sequence file. So this purpose of the sequence file is to store the data in a binary format. That means any of the images or any of the binary data if you wanted to work with, you can even use the sequence file format. And this is very fast because uh, it, it supports a compression techniques as well. You can use any of the compression, LVO, ZZ, Snappy Codec, or any other things you can use. And how we will be setting up this compression techniques are nothing but you can open your hype shell or in the property. You can simply set these particular properties like set hype execution compression output to true. Similar way, map reduce compression output to true. And also here, you have to specify the codec, whether it is a snappy or LVO, ZZIP, which compression techniques you want to use, you can specify this as part of the compression codec. But the thing is, sequential files are mainly for the binaries, right? So reading the binaries, are it is highly complexity. So that is the reason why, especially if you wanted to store uh, using this map reduce intermediate to store the intermediate map reduce job result, we will be using this as a sequential file formats. And how to create these sequential file formats is nothing but while you are creating a table, you can create a table table name. Instead of storing as a text file, you can store as a sequence file. So automatically it will use these um, binary formats. And the other uh, file format is the RC. RC is the row columnary file formats. Then record columnary files, which especially if you see this, uh, uh, the advanced things ORC and everything came. And first of all, this is the first columnary file format uh, which was used in the Hadoop. And this also uses the compression. You can also specify the compression techniques over here. And this RC file format is good for, uh, you know, if you wanted to query anything. 
but if you wanted to write anything it will take a lot of time because it requires the more memory and and also the computational things as well when you compare with the plain text file formats other than a columnary file formats so whatever you wanted to store it as part of this first of all everything is stored as part of these uh, columns columnary and then inside that you will be, your values will be stored a retrieval will be very easy but writing will be tougher and advanced things i mean if you wanted to store it as a rc by creating the tables you can simply mention at the end stored as rc file but apart from this rc we have come up with something called orc file format that is very powerful and very good file format in the high and it provides a very efficient way to store any of the data and also you can use the compression techniques as well and it highly improves the performance of your high queries and also the access time and the storage space and everything is improved with the help of these uh, ORC file formats so that is the reason why this is the best file format we can see when you compare with the text sequence or RCs and the other file formats is best to a uh, read and write and even the processing your data as well so if you want to define your orc file format at the time of the creating the table at the end you can add that as a stored as a orc and also if you wanted to by default if you wanted to create this orc you can set this uh, hive default file format you can specify default file format to orc that means it overrides that uh, text because by default it will be a text file format but if you set this particular uh, high default file format it enables that to the ORC and here if you want to create a table you can use the create table statement and at the end you can use a stored as a ORC apart from this inserting and loading there is no other difference it is internally the way it uses and the way it stores the data is different than the other file format apart from that we will be also having the av rows and also the packet file formats too so with the help of this av row file format what it does is it stores whatever the metadata is there it stores the metadata with the data and also you will be having the independent schema the schema is independent you can load the schema separately the help of this you can do any of this you can do a rename of the files adding deleting changing of these data types of the fields because the schema is independent over here and the zero files is splitable then you can split that uh, into the smaller chunk like especially when you are having this map reduce job when you want to run if it is a splitable then only your uh, mapped task each and every input file is going to be divided into the multiple input splits so the zero files are splitable and also it supports the compression techniques as well similarly you are also having the packet file format which is also another columnary file that means we have seen the rc orc those are all the columnary file formats so this is also another uh, columnary file format and here also it uses the compression when i say the compression it highly improves the performance and as we talk about the rc files rc is also slower to write it when you wanted to retrieve some of the records it is faster similar to that as it is also columnary file format the packet is also it, uh, it is slower to write but if you want to read and execute any of the queries it is faster so unlike your rcs and orc file formats the packet supports a limited schema evaluation that means if any of the new columns are there that gets added to the, at the end of the structure if you wanted to store that as a packet file while creating the table you can store it as a packet stored as packet you can define so like this we do have a different file format so like a sequential file formats and mainly this is like a binary 
And if you wanted to store any of the intermediate mapper results, you can use this. If you wanted to have a very good file format as the ORC, if you optimize row columnary, you can use it as a stored as ORC. You can it supports its compressions and also it supports mm, so it, it improves the performance even reading and the writing too. Thank you. Let's catch the next module.